And right now the temperature is 57 degrees. We're a long ways away from freezing, Jeff. If we were to have a freeze tonight, we'd need clear skies and light winds. Explain this radiational cooling. That's right, Gary. Radiational cooling, you need a clear sky, a light wind, and dry air. Well, we have the dry air. We know the winds are going to die off, and the clouds right now are with us, but we expect them to clear. And so the whole point is when you have a clear sky, the relative heat of the day begins to radiate out. But when you have clouds, they act like a blanket, and they trap in the heat of the day just like a blanket trapped in your body heat and keeps you warm at night. And actually, Gary, this is, this is pretty comfortable. <laughs> Okay, so what? So explain now. The heat of your body is being trapped by the blanket. I would pull the blanket up a little higher up on you. I mean, I mean come on. Well, you don't want to see my face. <laughs> <laughs> no. And so the body, of, the heat of your body hits the blanket and radiates back down, and that's what it keeps you warm. Just like the heat from the Earth will hit the clouds and radiate back down, and it keeps the temperature from dropping as far as it could. Now, if there are no clouds tonight, though, the temperatures will continue to fall until sunrise, and that's what radiational cooling is. And the question for tomorrow, Jeff, is will the clouds move back in? That's for you to answer and for us to look at the new data and see what it looks like. Okay, thank <laughs> you very much. Now, put the blanket over and take a little nap. Good night. All right. <laughs> Meteorologist Jeff Penner with our little science experiment, the blanket effect. It actually is exactly what happens, and uh, very interesting. Krista?